Hi everyone, great to have you back. In this video, we're going to build simple CRUD operations for a .NET MAUI app using SQLite, step by step in a clear and beginner friendly way. All right, let's start by opening Visual Studio and creating a new .NET MAUI project. After that, we add a folder named Models. Inside that folder, we add a class named Employee. Right now, it only has four simple properties, ID, full name, position, and salary. This class represents a single employee record in our app. It acts as a data model, defining the structure of the information we store and retrieve from the database. Now right-click the project, then choose Manage New Get Packages. Search for SQLite or Microsoft.data.sqlite.core, then install the package. This gives us the types and APIs we need to connect to a local SQLite file. Next, create a new folder named Services. Inside it, add a class called Database Service. This class contains all the functions for creating the table and for adding, updating, and deleting data in SQLite. In short, it's the data access layer of our application. In the constructor, we configure the file path for our database in the app's data directory. We also build a connection string for SQLite. That's all the setup we need to open connections anywhere in the app. We create a method called initialize database async, and inside it we create the employees table using the columns defined in the employee class. Get employees async reads all employee records from the database and returns them as a list of employee objects. Add employee async takes an employee object, inserts it into the database, and returns the number of rows affected. Update employee async updates an existing employee based on their ID and returns the number of rows that were modified. Delete employee async deletes an employee by ID and removes the record permanently if it exists. In the app constructor, we run the necessary initialization so the MAUI platform is ready and the database is set up before the UI loads. Next, open MauiProgram.cs to register the service. By adding the database service to the dependency injection container, we create a single shared instance for the entire app. This allows any page to access it through constructor injection. Let's right-click the project and add a new content page named Employee Form Page. On this page, we set up input fields for full name, position, and salary, along with save and cancel buttons at the bottom. This page is used for both adding and editing employees. If we pass an existing employee into the constructor, the fields are automatically filled for editing. If we don't pass anything, the form is treated as a new record. In the employee form page code behind, we inject a database service and optionally an employee. If an existing employee is provided, we populate the input fields.
In the on save clicked event, we validate the form, update the employee object with the input values, insert or update it depending on the ID, and then navigate back to the previous page. In the on cancel clicked event, we simply navigate back without saving any changes. Now let's open mainpage.xaml. We'll remove the default MAUI template code and replace it with a layout that lets us display the employee list, search for employees, delete entries, and add new ones. At the top, we have a search bar for filtering employees. In the middle, a collection view displays the list. Each item shows the employee's full name, position, and salary, along with a delete button. Near the bottom, there's an Add button to create a new employee, and when you double tap a row, it opens the form to edit that employee. In the code behind of main page, we inject database service. We bind the collection view to an observable collection that holds the list of employees. Next, we add an async method called load employees async. It gets the employees from the database, applies the search filter if there is one, and then updates the list on the main thread so the UI refreshes. In the constructor, we also start loading the employees in the background so the list appears as soon as the page is ready. Now let's start the app. When the Add button is clicked, we navigate to the Employee Form page to create a new employee. When the search text changes, we reload the employee list using the new filter value. When the delete button is clicked, we ask for confirmation. If the user agrees, we delete that employee from the database and refresh the list using the current search filter.
When an item is double tapped, we open the employee form page and load that employee's information for editing. You can override on appearing so that whenever the page becomes visible, it reloads the employees using the current search filter. And that wraps it up. We now have a fully working MAUI app with an SQLite database and complete CRUD functionality. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.